Okay, this video is specifically focused on writing equations of parallel and perpendicular lines. Now, we have learned in the past a few things about parallel lines and about perpendicular lines. First of all, if, the, if two lines are parallel, we know that their slopes are equal. So if two lines are parallel, the slopes are equal. If two lines are perpendicular, we know that the slopes are negative reciprocals of each other. So if one slope was 5, the other one would be negative 1 fifth, for example. To write an equation of a parallel or a perpendicular line, the first key is I have to identify the required slope for the given line. So they're going to give me some line. What is the slope of that line? All right. And then identify, based on what they're asking me to find, do I want the parallel, same slope, or do I want the perpendicular, negative reciprocal slope, okay? I highly encourage writing down everything that I write down here. All right, so in the first one, first thing I notice, they want me to find a parallel. So right now in my head, I'm thinking slopes are equal. In the given equation, the slope is two-fifths. I know that that tells me that the parallel slope must also be two-fifths. This is the information now that I'm going to use to write the equation of a line. All right? So the next thing that I'm going to do is go to point-slope form. y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1. I'm going to substitute y plus 1 equals m, two-fifths, times x minus 1. And again, I filled that in using the given information. Now, they wanted all my answers in slope-intercept form. So from here, I've got two steps. I'm going to distribute y plus 1 equals two-fifths x minus two-fifths. I'm going to subtract 1 which is the same as subtracting 5 fifths. And in slope intercept form, I get the equation y equals 2 fifths x minus 7 fifths. This is the equation of a line that was parallel to this given line. Notice the slopes are the same, but the y intercepts now are different. All right, similarly here. The only difference on this one is 2x minus 3y equals negative 3 does not tell me the slope of that line. So the first thing i got to do is solve this equation or put it in a slope-intercept form so that I can identify what the slope is. And I noticed that the slope here would be 2 thirds x where the slope is 2 thirds. That tells me that the parallel slope must also be two-thirds. I use the point and the slope and point-slope formula. y minus y1 is m times x minus x1. I substitute y minus 10 equals two-thirds times x minus negative 7, which would be x plus 7. Because I have to write it in slope-intercept form, I distribute. So y minus 10 equals 2 thirds x plus 14 thirds. I'm going to add 10, which is the same as adding 30 over 3. Common denominators again there. So y equals 2 thirds x plus 44 thirds. And this is the equation of the parallel to this given equation. All right, so a couple more now. What if it's perpendiculars? All right, so for both these examples, they want me to find a perpendicular. I know here the slope is negative 2 fifths. The perpendicular slope, therefore, would be the negative, making it positive, reciprocal flip two-fifths. The perpendicular slope is 5 over 2. 
I need to use this point and this slope along with point slope to write the equation of the line. Okay, I substitute y minus 1 equals 5 halves times x plus 3, x minus negative 3. I distribute y minus 1 equals 5 halves x plus 15 halves. And then I'm going to add 1, which is adding 2 over 2. And I get y equals 5 halves x plus 17 over 2. Now, notice this is the equation that is perpendicular to that given equation. And specifically, here's how I know that it's the perpendicular. If the original slope was negative 2 fifths, the perpendicular slope was 5 over 2, the negative reciprocal. All right, in this next equation, I need to get it in the equation into slope intercept form first so that I can identify what the slope is. There's the slope. Okay? If the slope is negative 3, then the perpendicular slope would be positive. And then what's the reciprocal of 3? Well, that would be 1 third. I use this point and the slope along with point slope. to write the equation of the line. I substitute y minus 1 equals 1 third times x minus negative 2, which would be x plus 2. All right, again, the only reason why I'm going beyond here is because all the way back at the beginning, our direction said slope-intercept form. So if they want point slope, I'm done right here. That's point slope form. Okay, here we go. Distribute y minus 1 equals 1 third x plus 2 thirds. I'm going to add 1, which is adding 3 thirds. And that will leave me with y equals 1 third x plus 5 thirds for the equation that is perpendicular to the given equation. All right, hope this helps. Let me know if you guys have any questions.